For many of you, you're probably wondering how we got here. The beginning of this story in Emily and Trevine became acquaintances in 2012 at Oakwood University. And they met through mutual friends. Trevine's junior year and Emily's freshman year. Emily was a basketball player and Trevine played on the drum line. Trevine remembers that he would watch her games and he had major attraction towards her. They would casually speak when they saw each other on campus, but they had no idea the depth of the friendship and how that would go. After a couple of years, they went separate ways to different schools. Trevine graduated with an engineering degree, found an opportunity in Jacksonville, Florida. And Emily went to school and graduated from FAMU and forward and moved back to her hometown, Orange Park. They sparked a new friendship when they realized that they were living in the same city in Jacksonville. And after years of liking each other's pictures on Instagram, Trevine decided to slide into the DMs for a date. Trevine says that the boyish charm worked and through the limitations of the COVID pandemic, we spent time enjoying trips to the beach, exploring in nature and going to Palm Coast SDA Church from time to time. The following year, they gave birth to a beautiful baby girl and decided to tie the knot to express their love and union between God and each other. Trevine says that when I knew this was the one moment and it was on a Sunday at the beach, they were flying kites something he would literally never catch himself doing. And that's when he realized that Emily took him out of his element quickly and she gave him peace with simplicity. And he realized the love was easy, it was simple. And that's when he knew. That's when they knew. Emily, who would have thought? I mean, who would have thought we'd be here today? Professing our love before God, our families, our close ones. I remember our first date thinking to myself how unreal that I was sitting across from the Emily Rowe. And then you spoke and the conversation was pure. And then you smiled at me with those brown eyes, warm and bright. And it immediately put me at ease. A feeling that I only dreamed of and that's why I'm here. You understand me, you accept me in a way no one else does. Touch me. Oh! We face obstacles, some harder than others, but they have helped build the foundation that we have today. Thank you for making our house a home. Thank you for giving me a beautiful baby girl, and she's so smart and amazing just like you. Can't wait to make more. <laughs> Thank you for loving my fun and sometimes crazy Jamaican family. Thank you for constant assurances that things will be okay when the world feels heavy. I promise to always put God first in our lives. I promise to be your protector. I promise to be your friend always. I promise to be a great father to our daughter and future kid. I promise to keep loving you unconditionally because you deserve it. I promise to keep challenging us to continuously get better and grow. Our journey has just begun and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I just know that I want to spend every breath of it with you. I love you, Emily. Trevine, you may now kiss your breath. I'm to bless the bride and the groom, but I was blessed this afternoon when Trevine came to me as things were getting ready and, and uh, they were getting ready for the ceremony and I was pacing the parking lot. <laughs> and he came to me, he said, Mr. Rowe, will you pray with me? Let me tell you something. When a young man who is going to take your daughter and make a life with her for themselves asks you to pray with him it means a lot and Trevine I appreciate you for that I know that wasn't a show and I appreciate you for that so if 
if you will, please, let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, thank you for your blessing upon these families. Thank you for the beautiful day that you granted us to have this happen today. And Lord, we ask now that you bless this union. Emily and Trevine and Kennedy. Help them to keep you forever first in their lives with the realization that when you are first in all things, all things are gonna work together for good. Thank you.